What's going on guys? Thanks for following along. Um, today's goal is we're going to use some of these net lights right here to kind of wrap around the front side of my house. Literally cover my house in lights. Maybe not the whole part, but I got a little rock, spot, rock part I'll show y'all. Um, they actually change colors and do all kinds of cool stuff. But uh, these are just a hundred lights a piece. So if we do all of them, that'll be 600 lights, but it's gonna be very neat. I'll show you where we're gonna put them at. All right, we're gonna put the lights up and down this, and maybe if we have enough lights, we're gonna turn the corner. So that way it'll be 3D. And then, like I said in the last video, I'd like to go down through here too. We'll just see how much I have. If I gotta go to Lowe's, it's okay, but I don't wanna start the project knowing I have to go to Lowe's. So my first question is, what, what do these look like? I'm gonna get these out of the box real quick. Get them spread out and we'll turn them on. All right, I got them out. They're gonna be, have a pretty small footprint. It's easy to tell there. I'm gonna plug them in, check it out here. So right off the bat, I guess they turn on and they go to what I assume is demo mode. Which they're pretty, kinda cool. They got a little box here on the end. So press it a few times, see what happens. That just turns them all to solid white, solid blue. Fade in and out. Fading out of a solid color. Blink. Blink certain color. All right, well. <clears throat> Needless to say, they got a lot of different demos or whatever. But I gotta figure out how they're going on the house because that is my concern. Um, the pop, top part of my house has a little wood part, so I guess I'll just drill some screws and let them hang. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, here's the thought process. We got some screws in here. I can easily take them out and fill them if I want. Whenever, I guess during the off season, I'll definitely take them out. I'm just gonna keep them in the house. But, um, so we got that right there. That's a start. I could hang the lighting straight over this, but I think I've got a better idea than that. So I've got these on here, although this could work how I have planned. I'm gonna try something else that may or may not work a little better. I bought some binder clips for the roof. I think I could just binder clip them on there and then hang it and it might, I don't know. It may look a little better, may last a little longer. We'll see. All right, so these bad boys right here are about 12 cents a piece from Walmart pretty cheap we're gonna test them and see how they look i don't have enough hands to show you all this but uh i'm gonna put a few on there and we'll see what it looks like now i'm not gonna say this looks better because it doesn't but i do think it will well protect this a little better and maybe last a little longer less likely to fall off for sure well, i'm gonna put a few more up and we'll see what happens the issue amongst many is these don't really you know like most christmas lights would you got your male end and then you'd have like female end over here so you could hook it up and keep going this doesn't have that so this is where i gotta hook everything up which is impossible which means i'm just gonna use a bunch of my cords but i guess it is what it is i don't know how to avoid that so i guess we're gonna keep rolling all right i got them both up now i have to find a way to connect them neatly which you know Zip ties is always the easiest thing to do, but I also want it to be able to come apart easily. So yeah, here goes nothing on that. I don't know why I even thought about zip ties. I had the best thing in my hand for that job. They're reusable. So that's how we're gonna do it. Well, this is a pretty good start. I'm pretty much gonna have to double down on the bottom. I'll probably do one on the bottom. Then I'm gonna wrap it around here if I have enough. Yeah. 
That's our progress update. All right, I got this pretty close to how I like it. I don't love how it looks in the daytime, but I don't really think you can. Can't really, yeah, you can tell. But I'll fix the sides up a little more once I get them all on. Yeah, that's what I got so far. All right, this is what we got now. Daytime appeal, not great, but I do think this is going to look really cool at night. Um, kind of stuck in a rock place, rock and hard place here, because I don't, I could go down with another one, but I don't know. I, I'm undecided on that, but that's why you can still, nobody uses the handle, but it's accessible, so I don't know. That's what we got so far. Here's our latest update. I got them plugged in. They look pretty good, really, honestly. That's gonna be pretty sweet at night. A whole bunch of settings. I gotta figure out which one I want it on. All right, here we go. Got them all up. Now, I know this looks atrocious in the day in the daytime. I get that. But it's gonna look really cool at night. We're gonna have stuff in front of this too. So this is just a backdrop. 600 more lights down. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, we got our newest addition to the Christmas light collection. These three snowmen. I'm gonna unbox them, set them up, give you a little review. All right, I got one of the three snowmen's built. Whoever designed how these were gonna be put together should get prison time because it was awful. But it is together. One down. All right, we got two down. I can't say that one was any smoother to put up. All right, so I got the little snow family built. Um, this one to be exact. It was kind of a pain to put together. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it was not... It was not terrible. I'm just concerned they won't last very long. So, in the weather, just their materials. So I think I'm going to put everything like that. I'm going to take some of these bushes out. Because they're going to die here soon anyway. I'm going to put it all up there. But first, I'm gonna extend this net light all the way to here. Cause I think that'd be pretty cool. Here goes nothing. All right, new update. I have continued net lighting all the way to there like I wanted. I think it's gonna turn out and look pretty sweet. All right guys, I think this is a wrap for today's video. Looks very, very good. I'll show y'all another clip. All right, guys, here it is at night. I've got to pick what settings I want these to be on. But there it is. This is what I've got so far. I think we're right at 3,000-ish lights, maybe 3,500. Leaves about 5,000 for the trees, and then about 20,000 for the roof.